हेलो एवरीबॉडी एंड वेलकम टू नीट मेंटर या जी यू ऑलरेडी नो द शेड्यूल फॉर एम सी सी काउंसिलिंग फॉर नीट पी जी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री इज पब्लिश्ड एंड वी हैव सीन फ्यू रूल चेंजेज सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एक्सपेक्टेड कट ऑफ रिविजन एंड वेन वी कैन एक्सपेक्ट द कट ऑफ रिविजन मैनी कॉल्स वी रिसीव्ड विच इज नॉट फ्रूटफुल बिकॉज द कैंडिडेट्स हु कूड गेट क्वालिफाइड they are confused whether they can they should register now or they should wait for the cut off revision there are many other questions that will be taking up in this session and how this counseling is going to be different from last year can we upgrade up to mop up in all india counseling how the stay vacancy is going to be different and what is the stay vacancy in the private colleges through state counseling how to get seat in low score through nri and management and what are possibilities we will also discuss about few other things uh you have been getting so many calls since the result got published to book the seat and especially those candidates whose score is low they get normal message and through some other uh medium they get to know about your number and uh, you receive a call and ultimately actually you are looking for those options or offers and it's more attractive than reality and you get attracted to what those offers also so we will also talk about such things and what are the possibilities on the on the foundation of rules anything that happens must have some logic where the logic come from you if it's some if it's happening in the reality that it ha- must have some link or uh, relation with the rules or even there are some loopholes so how to use it and how it can be used okay and how to save yourself from all the frauds happening in admission regarding neat pg or ug so we are going to talk about those things if you are new here please do subscribe and uh, please uh, like the video and share it with others so that everybody will get benefited there is a telegram group you can join okay and uh, these packages you can access from the website and the ebooks also and uh, counseling portal access so we have spoken about the from the pros- from the schedule many queries will be solved and after the schedule is published it will have all the rules mentioned over there if you are not able to understand we will give you a summary of all the rules changes but uh, from the pros- schedule what we can see second round counseling of all india let's first understand how the counseling will happen first all india round 1 followed by state round 1 and soon you will get to know about the schedule of all the states rounds all the states round schedule how you can get there is a tentative start date of the sh- uh, state rounds and tentative end date of the state rounds for round 1 round 2 mop up and stay it will published on nmc right now from the state sides states like uh, totally nine states are active or they have completed the registration today we got the notification about odisha state schedule okay and before that punjab state registration is going on kerala they had extended the date for their registration and apart from these three states sikkim manipal tamil nadu pondicherry telangana gujarat these states uh, have completed their registration in near future we can expect registration to start from tamil nadu or andhra pradesh okay and some other states you need to also understand what is open state and how is important why and how you can participate what are the rules what are the limitations all such things so round 2 is completing on 6th of september there is additional step of verification after reporting done by verification done by mcc so that any flaw in the process regarding the documents 
can be captured by MCC. So any loophole, due to any loophole, anybody got any seat in deemed universities or government colleges, DNB hospitals can be captured by MCC. That's why they have kept a window of verification. So verification for the round two process of All India Counseling completing on 6th of September. So after 6th of September, you can expect cutoff revision. So this is the date after 6th of September. So not in next month is uh, by 10th you can expect by 10th of September you can ex expect a cutoff revision. Usually it happens like that. So after cutoff revision you will have a chance to attend round 2 of state but you can't attend round 2 of all India. So those candidates who were not who are not qualified they have to wait for the cutoff revision because anybody who has just one mark or those who are having 290 marks in general category right now both are same both are ineligible so as long as you are ineligible you are not you can't uh, do the registration okay so you have to wait for another one and a half month okay from today that is 20th of july full august month and then by mid of september you can expect so more than one and a half month you have you have to wait there is no other option and then you will get opportunity to attend all india mop up round all india stay round in the states from round two until a stay round so totally you will have option two or opportunity to attend two rounds of all india and three rounds of state totally five rounds so mostly since uh, round fourth that is a stay vacancy round is going to happen in online way and those candidates whose score is like just qualifying after cutoff division they will hardly get any chance for the upper clinical subject so how they should try they should try from a state counseling because in the state unless uh, so by 10th you see the counseling is getting closed okay. at least all india counseling so what are the major changes the online uh, the stay vacancy is going to be online for deemed universities and there is no offline round for deemed universities now okay so there is no promise that you will get some favor from college side and you can get the seat allotted without merit it will happen based on merit only because the process will be fully transparent you will have the seat matrix also for a stay vacancy round merit list as well and based on the merit list anybody can check whether the allotment is fair or unfair double verification before every round starts of all india you will have a notification to upload your nri documents and email to mcc so that they can verify from their side and they may, they will make a list of uh, eligible nri candidates so that notification you can expect in few days two three days so that uh, you have sufficient time to upload and send email so those who have not uh, got their nri uh, documentation they must get in time fresh choice filling will be applicable in a stay vacancy round and uh, as per the neat p neat ug brochure there was change there that upgradation is possible up to mop up round so we have to wait for this confirmation until the browser for NEET, NEET PG 2023 is published. Now coming to the point that uh, many candidates whose rank is uh, 50,000 or below 50,000, they keep getting so many calls every day about the seat booking. Okay. So how it happens? See in the stay vacancy round, the seat goes into the hand of college. So the now college can say that they didn't get any candidate with the proper tuition fee. Did they didn't get any candidate who were ready to pay that much tuition fee. So they given the seat to somebody uh, negotiating the tuition fee. That's legal. 
first now is in hand of a college and it is seen that college is a uh, college authority are uh, misusing that power okay so their power is taken back from the deemed university's hand now is in the hand of mcc so now it's not possible that you wait until stay vacancy round and uh, expect a seat because it will be on merit basis earlier for each and every one seat there was 10 candidates is to uh, be eligible to participate in the counseling for each and every single seat left out in the stay vacancy round they used to call 10 times candidates okay so that's how it will happen but it won't be in uh, 10 times but all will be eligible depending on the merit only they will be allowed to get the seat so you can expect so many seats will still be vacant okay and based on the prospectus rules only it will be clarified that those nri seats will get converted may get converted into management and the management seat on the management tuition fee can be easily allotted to the candidates based on the merit in stay vacancy round and after a stay vacancy round they will see if more seats are there then uh, depending on the court order if there is any uh, pi in the court regarding a special stay vacancy round they can conduct one more rounds okay with more stringent rules so that limited candidates are allowed and those who are interested will take the seat based on merit so last year also those non clinical seats in the government dnb and diploma left uh, unallot un uh, joined okay so why not the seats in dim dim city can be left unjoined if the candidates are not able to pay that much or not interested to take that seat so there is no point in going for offline now there is a fear among the candidates that how if there is no loophole then how they can get admission so that's how it has to be now all the loopholes to, uh, need to be blocked will there be any offline stay vacancy round in a state in the state as per the prospectus there is no change it will be happening like previous years so definitely there will be offline round in the stay vacancy round but from next year onwards is going to be common counseling mostly so what is different in case of common counseling all the states authorities will be demolished and uh, all the seats where there is 50% state quota government seats or private colleges 100% seats will get allotted through mcc counseling so the complete authority comes into the hand of mcc after common counseling and they can make all the rounds in online way irrespective of the colleges irrespective of the tuition fee so there will be no single loophole okay in the system to get any kind of favoritism from the college or any such things so how much cut off revision we can expect this year so if you remember in one of the video i had uh, given the analysis so if the cut off revision happens by 25 percentile and which is expected why it is expected because all the factors are in the favor of high cut off revision because more number of seats will be left out and depending on the seats availability after all india round 2 they will revise the cut off so if it is revising by 25 percentile the general category candidates need to get 25 percentile which will be around 208 and reserve category candidates need to get 15 percentile which will be 171 so you can think and you can keep that figure in mind 208 for general and 171 for reserve category candidates so that will be in the best side if it doesn't get revised by 25 percentile by just 20 percentile then your expected cut off after cut off revision for general category will be 225 and for reserve category candidates is 190 but since 
we had seen so much of cut off revision uh, in the 2022 this year we can expect the similar cut off revision okay so cut off for reserve category candidates can go up to 180 when the cut off revision will happen i have mentioned already as per the calculation is uh, around 10th of september okay is there any more loophole for admission without merit there are some loopholes in the state level counseling because some states are conducting the counseling in offline mode uh, in the second round itself in 2021 bihar state conducted the complete rounds from round one until the stay vacancy round in offline mode so these all things need to come down up to single platform and then uh, they will have clarity that they don't de need to depend on any agent or any kind of like third party they should go through the counseling process and they need to have merit first of all if the is the fee negotiation legal yeah it's legal process you can do the fee negotiation if the seat is not allotted on the given tuition fee the colleges can do negotiation on the fee and can allot the seat so in this video we try to cover these topics and let's see if we have covered difference from last year see last year candidate used to wait up to mop up round but if this year there is upgrade up to mop up round so a stay vacancy round will be more critical than mop up round because last year what used to happen up to round two you got the seat that is your final seat okay and if you don't join then it goes to mop up round and now candidates used to take the seat from state uh, state round two so many candidates wouldn't go for all india mop up round so there is an opportunity that you can get better seats in mop up round in this year what will happen in case upgradation rule is applicable up to mop up round the candidates who got the seat in round two okay they can upgrade up to mop up round so there will be more competition in the mop up round and in the stay vacancy round okay because if you upgrade up to mop up round you have to join okay so that critical part of mop up round will be replaced by stay vacancy round other rules will be more or less same but we need to see the prospectus stay vacancy round uh, we have already spoken in ri management seat so management seat in some of the states like Rajasthan, Karnataka and uh, Maharashtra the management seat tuition fee is very high and there you have the chance to get the seat in low score also. If not so, if you have NRA certificate or you can get NRA or sponsorship as per the direction by Supreme Court then you can prepare NRA sponsorship and you can get NRI seat. Okay schedule and rule changes we have uh, spoken about and uh, state counseling is going on and uh, those who are waiting for Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Maharashtra because they, these are low budget states, Bihar, UP, many candidates are waiting for UP state and because these are critical states for low scoring candidates. So usually Haryana, Himachal Pradesh and uh, Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Bihar, Rajasthan, these state would launch their application after All India choice filling happens. Okay. Some of other states which is expected before All India registration starts like Telangana, management quota, government is already done, Andhra Pradesh. Okay. So these states we can expect before All India registration starts. You need to uh, prepare the documents in all. We will discuss in the separate video. The video will be very lengthy otherwise. So that's all from our, our side. Thanks for watching.